Do you want to know what the worst part about dating men is? You have to date men. Hello, he's, she's, they's, and inevitable AIs. Welcome back. Here we are. The modern dating world is rough. It's cutthroat. It's difficult to be a young person on dating apps trying to date in these modern times. People will ghost you. People will lie to you. People will not live up to your high expectations. The gall, the gumption, the audacity. But you know, if there's one thing that I've learned, it's that it can always be worse. So let's look at some absolutely horrible dating stories from the gay dating world. <laughs> Feel better about yourself by looking at all the shit that other people are going through. <laughs> let's venture over to the internet's favorite wholesome, non-opinionated website, Reddit. Totally safe there and non-confrontational. R slash lol grinder. Today at 2.21 a.m. First of all. <laughs> hey, sorry, no interest for older men. Wait, what? I'm 25 and you're 34. Or am I getting something wrong here? Sorry, still the old for me. <laughs> I can't stand people. <laughs> These are the impossible standards we're trying to meet. This is what we have to put up with. What, like, what does that even mean? Okay, moving on. Hey, hey. Just so you know, I'm not gay or anything. This is grinder, my guy. I guess people who are lactose intolerant can't walk down the fucking dairy aisle. I'm just looking. Denial is a river in Egypt. This man is gay. There's nothing wrong with experimenting. There's nothing wrong with trying out something new. But let's just be honest with ourselves, okay? This is a safe space. It kind of, kind of. Actually, I don't really know. It, I've never once felt safe on that app. Have I mentioned that most men terrify me? 8.31 p.m. Position? Bottom. You're getting very sleepy. You're a top now. <laughs> this plan is so crazy, it just might work. This is one thing that straight couples will never understand. It's a frustration. You don't know what position someone favors just by looking at them. Honestly, you don't know anyone's sexual orientation just by looking at them. So it's like, it's like a math problem. It's algebra when you, when you meet someone that you're attracted to. It's a 10 step plan just to know if this will even work out. Hey, what's up? We talked about this. We can't be speaking on Grindr anymore. It was a one-time thing. I've never met you in my life. Oh my bad, I thought you were my cousin. You look a lot like him. You're so hot, what's up? Yeah, sorry, uh, this one right here, officer, we got him. Jail. Straight to jail. Oh my god, it's just like, it's like, it's just so, it's so difficult. It's really, really hard out here. 3.44 p.m., one kilometer away. First of all, can I just say, that alone freaks me out. The fact that, like, we all just look on all these dating apps and we know exactly how far someone is away from us. I won't even give my best friends my location, let alone a stranger. Okay. Anyway, why do you look so familiar? I went to your place once and you were high on meth and it was honestly one of the worst experiences of my life. Not meth, just like take an edible like the rest of us, Christ. Mm, I need a little something, a little something to take off the edge. What could I possibly do? Meth. That's not Christian. <sighs> I wish you weren't so fat. Far, far, far. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting lightheaded. Oh God. The anemia. If I pass out, just know that I went semi-happy. <laughs> We're back. This is the bane of my existence. Not accidentally calling someone fat, but just typos in general. Like, ever since autocorrect, I need autocorrect, first of all. I use autocorrect, so I can't, like, take it off. But it so often autocorrects something at the very last minute, and then I hit send, and it completely butchers what I was originally trying to send. Tim Cook, can you fix that? Please? Hey, just working. How about you? Where do you live? Okay, I'm gonna give you a second. Is this person A, talking to their own dad? B, talking to their own brother? C, someone working inside their house? Or D, a ghost? I don't know. <laughs> I think you're working on my house. Ah, oh, I wasn't sure it was you. You're really cute. You too. Get your mind out of the gutter. It was just a wholesome construction worker. Stop being sick. This video is PG-13. Twisted, twisted. It's actually really cute. <laughs> like that's like that's a pretty all things considered that's a pretty wholesome exchange i hope they found love i hope they got married i got the place to myself all night where that's a cemetery these gays real perfect you can go to the church nearby pray that you don't die go to your hookup amongst the unliving and like a fucking idiot you'll be disposed in the river next door do you know these gays i swear to i hope this was a joke 
Like, I, I know the LGBTs, I know this app, and it might not have been. And that's the most terrifying thing. <laughs> Please, these gays, they're trying to murder me. <laughs> Let me set the scene. These two people were talking and one disclosed that he was sick. And this is the other person's response. Ugh, I went to urgent care today and got a prescription cough medicine and a Z pack. Take Mucinex and rest up. Do you have Hulu? I don't know. Why? Now you do. Honestly, marry that man right now. He's the one. How could it get any better than that? Responsible, emotionally intelligent, giving. That's all I'm looking for, really. When for me. Me for when. Sweet, sweet man. That's a very sweet man. Marry him, or I will. Today at 10.55 p.m. How old are you? 23. Oh my god. That's so old. Crusty, dusty dinosaur. <laughs> Crusty, dusty dinosaur. 23? Crusty, dusty dinosaur? Who, who is this? Is it the child? Call the FBI. Crusty, dusty? That's sick. That's wrong. I'm not gonna let this throw me into a panic that I'm 30. <laughs> Google twink. Click images. Third to the right. I'm gonna hold on to that as long as I can. My youth. Anonymous. 4.35 p.m. Four miles away. Not interested. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> this one fucking killed me. <laughs> That's so mean. What the, what the, the audacity. That's like if you're in a coffee shop minding your own goddamn business and out of the, out of the blue, someone just comes over to your table and says, I wouldn't even date you even if you wanted me to. The fuck? Leave me alone. I'm just trying to drink my cappuccino. Not in front of my croissant. Activist or passive? I'm an activist. Super. I'm passive. Not a pacifist. What? It's it's clever humor. It's 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 for the intellectuals. I'll, it was funnier when I saved it. Like dominant and submit. I'm not gonna fucking explain it to you. Hey, how's your night? Pretty good. Just got home from a Charlie XCX show. Oh, you're one of those. Just call me a slur and move on. Fuck. Vroom vroom, beep beep, boys music video. I was busy thinking about, but I am one of those. Guilty, guilty, your honor, I did it. I confess, it's me. That feels like a fever dream. Sometimes I actually forget that I was in Charlie's music video. Just, just in her backyard, shirtless, wearing angel wings. Oh my God, I'm literally Charlie's angel. Somebody add that to my Wikipedia page. <laughs> Evening, handsome. Want to take a walk by the lake? A few moments later. Okay, question. Because I'm trying to get better at grinding. <laughs> Multiple choice. You viewed my profile but weren't moved to respond because A, I'm not your type. B, the greeting was underwhelming. C, my profile could use some work or is missing something. D, now that's not a good time. E, blank F, that's none of my goddamn business. I have never more related to something in my whole entire life. All feedback is good feedback, baby. Tell me the truth. I just want to grow. I respect it. Honestly. <laughs> Pardon me, good sir. I wondered whether you would appreciate assistance in achieving orgasm this evening. What happened to, hello? How are you? My name is. There was a twinge of gentlemen in there. Not gonna lie. Oh God, his name is Sir Top and Bottom. Top and Bottom. Sir Top and Bottom. <laughs> Stop! Okay, that's it. That's enough internet tonight. I'm good. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like button and uh, maybe I'll give you a little kiss. And leave a comment down below. What are some of your strangest dating app stories? I'm sure you have plenty. It's a weird, weird world out there. Dating should be fun. It shouldn't be stressful. It shouldn't be terrifying. It shouldn't be weird. It shouldn't be lawless. That's just the world we live in though. So everyone be safe out there. Everyone be respectful, be kind. Also no shaming these people. This video is just for fun. As long as it's two consenting adults, it's none of my business. Anyways, it's good being back. I miss your faces. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're having a great life and I will see you super soon. Bye. Home. Home of. Home of. Home of sensual. Home of phobia. Please. These gays, they're trying to kill me. <laughs> She's so funny. Do I know how anal I am? Don't. Don't. I took this down because it was, um, just didn't look right in the background. <laughs> oh. My gosh. <laughs>